During the pandemic, many of us ended up working from home. To measure your work productivity though, your company may have started using various technologies or surveillance tools to track you. Hi, I'm Washington Post reporter Danielle Abril, and this is Help Desk, where we help make sense of the tech in your life. Tracking our work, timesheet, and gauging our productivity, they're all a normal part of doing business, right? Today, there are a lot of software and technologies to help companies track your productivity remotely. Take the software tool Hubstaff. Most of us probably don't even know that tools like this could be lurking behind our computer screen. They offer monitoring capabilities as a feature, so things like logging keystrokes and mouse movement, taking screenshots, and recording audio. Companies behind the tools say the goal is to improve productivity, help track a distributed workforce, and protect sensitive data. But some employees say the tools invade their privacy and can get pretty creepy, especially if they're working from home. In some cases, we don't even know when we're being watched or if someone is listening to our personal conversations. To give you a better sense of what surveillance tools can do, let's take a tour of software from Terramind. So if I were an employer using Terramind to monitor my employees, I would see a dashboard that looks something like this. Here I can see who's online, their time worked, and what they're working on. If I want to check in on a specific employee, I can click on one of them. Here, I can get a breakdown on exactly how they're spending their time and look at screenshots and videos from their monitors. I can also explore any of these tabs above to check out what emails they've been reading or sending or see snapshots from their screen at various points throughout the day. Experts told me software services like this one work best when employees have full transparency about how they're being monitored and know their goals. If employers want to use this type of software, experts advise them to not only let their employees know they're being monitored, but how and when, and also specify exactly what they need to do to meet their goals. But the software can cause problems for companies if they misuse it. Employers should have a business purpose for monitoring employees and should avoid setting blanket goals that don't make sense for everyone. Meanwhile, employees who have company-issued devices should expect zero privacy, zero. But if you bring your own device, you should make sure to read your company's policy. At the end of the day, employee monitoring tools can aid a company in its productivity goals. But if not used properly, it can hurt morale, break employee trust, and actually work against a company's goal for using them in the first place.